Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna feature three different fragrances that are green, clean, and serene. But that's really kind of the cause and effect of a lot of fragrances that we want to be revitalizing and refreshing, um, whether they're fresh out of the shower type fragrances or whether they're vegetal and herbaceous, dry, woody, uh, like a vetiver, elegant. So those are the kind of attributes or characteristics we really look forward to in fragrances. These are first time impressions for me. So when we return, we're gonna go over these three fragrances, that and more, so stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back. Not that long ago, I did a 10 green, clean, and refreshing fragrance list, which meant that they were either vegetal, herbaceous, uh, or just concept green fragrances. Today, we're gonna be looking at three fragrances. They purportedly fit that bill, but this is the first time that I'm looking at them, so we're gonna see. The very first fragrance that we're gonna look at is from the House of Lacoste. It is a 2020 release, so it's fairly new. called Match Point. Let's take a look at that presentation. I do like that presentation. The color green always fascinates me in fragrance and it is a really nice shade of green. And also of course the lid mimicking the handle of a tennis racket, which is really cool. And likely green herbaceous, green vegetal. But instead of guessing, let's take a look at that note breakdown. Lacoste Match Point was created by Sophie Labbe, released in 2020. Top notes, basil and pink pepper. Heart notes, gentian absolute, and clary sage, resting on a base of vetiver and cashmerin. That's the first time I ran into gentian absolute. What is that exactly? It's kind of a deeply bitter, vegetal, herbaceous note that has a dry, woody undertones, but it's gonna have probably herbaceous and vegetal in equal form. Let's check out that juice and find out. Super refreshing. It kind of reminds me of a little bit more green Givenchy Gentleman cologne. I was exactly right. It really splits down the middle that vegetal herbaceous. If you're not a fan of green fragrances, you still, I think, would really like this. There's something in this that you would really like and enjoy. It's more vegetal herbal on the soapy sudsy side. So it's a very clean, fresh, uh, slightly shower gel type fragrance without being derivative shower gel. On skin, I think this one's gonna do really well. Super green fresh. It has a little bit more of that dry elegance, which is the vetiver and cashmere in combination. Again, the pink pepper wakes you up, leads you into the clary sage and basil, which are, are for spices are very greenish and kind of vegetal and herbaceous spices. And then of course that gentian absolute gives it that dry, woody, slightly bitter, very herbal vegetal. And that's what Match Point is at its very heart. Soapy gym fragrance. That's right, this is a gym fragrance. I could smell some guy walking out of the shower wearing this and it would be like, all right, bro, you had your workout. It's leg day and you killed it. You beasted it out and you smell great and you're ready for whatever the day brings. Fantastic gym fragrance. Overall, I think it's a great spring and summer fragrance. Can also be worn in fall. It's very green, new growth spring vegetal herbal but definitely not for the confines of winter time this is going to be something you want to pick up for a 100 ml bottle this is an eau de toilette you want to pick up for right around 35 40 bucks you don't really necessarily want to pay more than that so wait until the price drops if it hasn't already i'll leave a link in the description below for the best price that i can find it for you if you're interested in picking up lacoste match point this next fragrance i picked up on a recommendation from my good friend ashton from Jensen's. He said I should try it out, and I'm going to do that with you guys today for the first time. This is 
Lolita Limpica Green Lover. Now, of course, this is not the original box. This is a tester. And as you well know, testers come in either a box or no box at all. Let's check out what we can of this bottle presentation, however. I didn't know that it wasn't going to come with a lid. Now, testers typically do come with lids, and they all the testers that I've ever purchased have come with lids, with the exception of two. I definitely would have ordered a non-tester version had I known it wasn't going to come with a lid, but that's okay. We'll go with it. I do know that the lid is a clear plastic acrylic, and it fits, you know, obviously it fits the bottle itself really nicely. Let's talk a little bit about the note breakdown. Lolita Limpica was launched in 2019. It features top notes of Italian Mandarin Orange, Szechuan Pepper, with heart notes of Gin, Juniper Berry, and Peppermint Leaf, resting on a base of Madagascan or Bourbon Vanilla and Musk. So judging from that note breakdown, the only thing that's green in this is Green Mandarin. I don't feel like this is going to smell green, and I feel like this is probably misnamed green lover but let's check out that juice and find out oh see that's another thing about testers sometimes they are already primed because they've been used oh wow that that just hit me and that's actually a very kind of slightly boozy uh vanilla a very musky vanilla and oddly enough juniper berry is what flavors gin so you've got gin and juniper berry and that's what's giving it that kind of that little bit of a kick and a little bit of a booziness about it. Oh man, though, I really like it. Let's try it on skin. This is definitely going to be one that I'm going to wear probably more of. Wow, so there is a definitely a heavier musk about this when you put it on skin that becomes immediately evident. It kind of loses that, that green nuance that I was talking about. Uh, it's not really there, at least on skin in the open anyway. Okay, so remember when you were a kid and you were eating that dream sickle? It was like a sherbet and ice cream and sometimes you would get more ice cream than you would get the orange flavor. That's what this is like. It's a very vanilla, creamy, which is really the musk and the vanilla. This is a really fresh, clean, almost outdoorsy scent. There's something about this. This is very light, outdoorsy. Again, it's that kind of slightly sensual sun-kissed skin effect that I think is in this, or at least the notes are approximating it. I really like Lolita Limpica Green Lover, but it's not really a green fragrance. I would term this as a gourmand light, which is really nice because I dig gourmand fragrance. While it's not anything multifaceted, deep, or complex, it's a really nice, slightly linear um, gourmand light fragrance. And if you like anything about that description, you'll probably like Limpica Green Lover. Our third clean, green, and refreshing fragrance is from Terry Mugler. It is called Mugler Cologne Come Together. Let's check out that presentation. Mugler Cologne was re-released as Come Together in 2011 along with four other fragrances that I'll show you here in this graphic. Let's go over the notes though in this particular iteration. Mugler's Come Together was reissued in 2018 with top notes of bergamot and neroli, heart notes of petted grain and orange flower, resting on a base of the S note and white musk. It's got an interesting presentation. You've got a little bit of a plastic cap that you pull off there. And it's got like a brush metal tooled atomizer on the base. This is a very white 
floral fragrance. So you've got white musk, you've got pedigrain, you've got a neroli, which is a white floral note, clean, and then you've got that S note. And of course the orange flower, which is a white floral note as well. That bergamot and musk are just bookends to this fragrance DNA. I definitely give it a nod for being unisex. I can definitely see this on a man or a woman and it's actually split down the middle. But I would say on skin, it even has a better masculine appeal to it. And we're gonna give that a try right now. I will say, this, is a, this one actually surprised me. It looks like a weak juice, but it is not weak juice, at least in that open. It's very bright, it's very orange and neroli combination, but it's giving it a little bit of depth, a little bit of weight to this. There definitely is a component of seductive, fresh sensuality in this fragrance. I will admit, Kind of surprised me, wasn't expecting it, but there it is. Would this be a good date night fragrance? Yes, I would say this would be one of those fragrances that you would save or hold on to for intimate moments. Like if you know you're gonna be really close to someone, but you wanna spray something on that adds to that air of mystery or that air of seductive sensuality, this is gonna be the fragrance you wanna use because it's not gonna be something that someone sitting across from you in a booth at a restaurant um, or even someone sitting next to you in a theater may be able to pick up on. Um, if you respray and reapply, that may be the case, but after about an hour or two, I would say this isn't really gonna be discernible on your skin unless you really laden, like super sprayed heavy, because it's definitely a lighter, lighter scent. But I think for what it is, that's actually a good thing. There aren't a ton of scents that you can spray on and have it be like really close to the skin shortly thereafter. Be more like one of those intimate fragrances that someone picks up on, on the periphery. Isn't it so much more attractive when someone barely smells something on you that's really attractive, as opposed to that just hitting you in the face like a book? This has that quality in spades. Guys, that's it for my unboxing and first impression of Lolita Limpica's Green Lover. We got Lacoste, Match Point, and Terry Mugler's Come Together. I hope you've enjoyed my take on these fragrances. If you've got any experience with them whatsoever, let me know in the comments below what your experience is like. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.